guys, this is Lilith every night, and I'm just going to talk about um, astrology and zodiac signs because I just kind of fell off with talking about this subject, and I'm a big nerd for astrology. I feel like if I would have kept going with this, like the way I was years ago, I would be super talented in it. I, it's not that I'm not necessarily or not necessarily good at it per se it's just i haven't done it in years because um you know people get people were getting tired of me talking about it so maybe this is a start of me just bringing bringing it up again and the crazy part about it is that the people who did get tired of me talking about it are now talking about their zodiac sign and their moon sign and all that shit but anyway so we're going to talk about Tor Taurus. Um, so Taurus are um, an earth sign and they are ruled by Venus and they are, they are a fixed sign. Their mirror sign, which I like to call it, or their twin sign or their opposition sign is Scorpio. And the reason why I call it their mirror or twin sign, I'll get into that later. But let's just talk about how Taurus are. Okay. Let's just say that, of course, you know, they're known for being stubborn. From my experiences, Taurus are, their energy is pretty quiet and pretty um, laid back most of the time. Um, but they're also like assholes. Like, I never expected this from, like, out of all the Earth signs to, for it to be Taurus. And plus, I'm a Taurus myself, and... I just never really had that much experience with other Tauruses until I saw it myself. But Tauruses have like this mysterious air about them that you just kind of don't know what they're thinking sometimes. I mean, it's like, anyway, what I mean by that is that uh, you just always try to figure out, like, let's say, uh, you think they're going to be like really nice and innocent and shy one day you know, on a certain topic that you might want to bring up, that you will be surprised on how they react. Um, they're the type to be blunt, for example. Like, uh, that's a perfect example. They're pretty, like, outspoken when they need to be. Um, and they're pretty harsh about it. Like, and the thing is, it's not like they don't care that they're saying it. It's that they do care, and that's why they say it. Uh, they're very just passionate about the things that they feel about certain things. And you will know that. They're very uh, upfront about how they feel. But at the same time, I feel like um, the reason why they're just blunt is just because they're blunt. They're just kind of like no-nonsense type of people. But they're not blunt in the way that Sagittarius is. Sagittarius is like kind of like more like foot and mouth syndrome like gemini too but taurus is more like they say it in a more calculated way they say it because they know what they're going to say and so they're all like every every sign has something that is intelligent about them um and taurus uh what else is about them i would say definitely the good side of taurus there's the good there's a dark side of taurus and there's a good side of taurus and the dark side or the light side of taurus is that they're very loyal you know they're very loyal and they're very um good friends like they can make good friends but they don't care about everybody like that's the thing about these um people that don't really know that about us is that they think that we're just the type of people to just sit around and you know let everybody step all over us when it comes to those kind of things and that's not always true because we are just we care about people only if we choose to care like if we care that means that you have our heart because we don't give our hearts to anyone um and we don't just love anybody, you know, and we're not just loyal to anyone, you know. The men are also known to be more unfaithful. The women can be too, but the men are more notorious for the the player type energy because we're, we're ruled by Venus. And so sometimes people kind of see us like, oh, you're just being a hoe or you're just being a flirt or you're just being like that. And no, it's like we just like to see the beauty of everything. We like to see beautiful flowers. We like to look at the beautiful 
uh, sky. We like to enjoy the beauty of music, the beauty of art, and and that includes people. We like to check out people. Like it's just that Venus in us. We're ruled by Venus, so we're this is the planet of beauty and love. And not only that, Tauruses are and Libras are also known to being very beautiful people. Maybe not just on the outside. If they're not beautiful outside, then there's something really beautiful about them in the inside. Maybe they're a really beautiful artist. They really they cook really beautiful like food. Um like the way you the way they uh make food taste, it just feels beautiful. It tastes beautiful. Their home is beautiful. Everything is just like they just like that. You know, just imagine how the goddess Venus would be and how her home would be and how her partners would be and how her music would be. That is the energy of Taurus and also Libra. But uh, Libra is more on the uh, intellectual, you know, side. Maybe like they're the types to probably write you a love letter and uh, probably sit by your window and play the radio to be annoying. Like <laughs> Taurus is more like, oh, nah, we ain't gonna do that. Um, but uh, we'll do something else to make you feel special. We might. Um, just let you know how we feel. We feel like we don't have to do all that cheesy romantic stuff. I think that's more Libra. And sometimes uh, Pisces. Um, Taurus is more like, let's just go take a walk on the beach and, you know, or let's just go um, hang out with some friends or let's just lay in bed and make love all day. You know, like that's more Taurus energy. Libra is kind of like that you know, cheesy romantic comedy, and Taurus is more like, eh, I like romance, but, you know, it's more about, um, being grounded, and just kind of like having love and having romance, but like, not overbearing, you know, not overbearing, uh, let's see, what else is with Taurus, uh, Taurus do have a feisty side, but we also love peace, you know, we like peace, we, if we had a choice, we would prefer peace over, um, drama, we hate drama, but we're the type of person to, um, if we have a problem, we will, you will know when we have a problem. Like, it's not like, and if we, we're not the type to just go up to your face either and be like, fuck you, bitch. But like, if we feel we really, really have to get to that point, it, it was for a logical, practical reason because we are an earth sign. So earth is logical and it's practical and it is about thinking about things in a practical way, not just being emotional and acting out stupid because you were crying, somebody made you cry. Like a water sign. You know, water sign is more emotional and earth is more practical and grounded and that's why they complement each other and they make like mud. You know, but um so what else with Taurus? Is uh Tauruses are really fun. All the earth signs are fun to be around. That is a lie. That is a myth about there's a saying that um, that earth signs are boring. That's bullshit because if we're boring, that means that we just probably think you're boring and we don't have enough time to make it fun for you because we don't give a fuck. Earth signs don't give a fuck about entertaining people that we don't really care about. You know, if we want to entertain you, that's because we care enough to do it. It's not that we're boring. It's just we're not interested. You know, that's just why people always say we're boring. It's because we want to keep it that way because we don't care enough to want to make it fun for you because maybe it's just we don't get along with you or you, you don't get along with us and we're just feeling your vibe and we just feel like we can smell the bullshit from a mile away. Uh, earth signs can feel the authentic uh, earth signs which are Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus, we can tell when something is not authentic. We can tell when something is fake. We like things to be natural. That is the earth. Because the earth is so much more powerful than something that is fake. 
if you made like man made something that is man made versus something that is natural that is earth energy you know and we don't like the man made energy because it's just not natural and that could come from just a food item or from a person a person's personality and how they treat us and um yeah let's see uh what else am i going to say about taurus <laughs> um yeah we're pretty we can be assholes yeah we can but we're nice assholes we're sweet and peaceful and loving and kind but we're kind of like jerks so but in a nice way <laughs> um we're i think i think the reason why we're like that is because um i would say it's because we're stubborn we have that stubbornness and people might come see that as like we have that rebellious side we're kind of like rebels when it comes to our tenacity and the way we choose not to give up and that can come off a little rebellious um we're very 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 stubborn um we are a fixed earth sign so earth is already solid and fix is already stubborn you know um the fixed signs are scorpio aquarius uh leo and taurus and uh Another sign that's known to be rebellious, Taurus are not known to be rebellious, they're more known to be very stubborn, but uh, Aquarius is the rebellious sign. Aquarius is the, um, the punk kid that r goes against the, the corrupt system. The Aquarius is the one who rocks a green mohawk and goes to church like that. The Aquarius is the one who doesn't like traditional anything you know they like to go against the grain that's that that is more of like the rebellious side of Aquarius but Taurus is rebellious in the way when it comes to their self-worth when somebody disrespects their self-worth and if Taurus feels that they deserve something that they worked hard for no one or nothing can make them not think that and that's what makes Taurus stubborn um but if Taurus can still be conservative in certain ways like when it comes to relationships when it comes to being loyal when it comes to just uh, you know cooking certain foods you know sometimes a Taurus may just not want to eat you know caviar they'd rather order a pizza and call it a day you know, they're not that adventurous when it comes to doing that. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that, you know. I'd rather eat a pizza than to be eating some octopus, you know. Like, I don't eat meat. So, uh, that's another thing about Taurus is that they're very earthy. They're very in tune to the earth. They're Like, the women can be like earth goddesses. Um, they're like the hippies, too. They're like the hippies, but they're also not like uh, the type of hippie that is going to let somebody um control them in everything that they do like when it comes to let's say they're the type of hippie that um is a vegan and there's like a whole they live with like four or three or two meat eaters in the house and every day this meat eater is trying to convince them that you need to eat meat this this taurus will just add another 20 years to sticking to one of being being vegan or maybe it's the other way around maybe they eat meat and they are just refusing to want to eat vegan food or whatever it may be but you know there's nothing wrong with veganism and anyway but uh <laughs> what else am i going to say here um we are sensitive but we are the types who have a stone face we have a poker face when it comes to our pain and when it comes to our heart uh, we protect it and then when we do give it away that's because we really like the person we don't just love everybody it's really hard we love hard we love hard but it's really hard for us to love because we're the type of people that can just love 
one or two people for our whole lives and that is our true meaning of love is just sticking with a very small amount of people who we choose we really not really we don't really choose to love people we, it just happens because i think taurus is a very independent sign when it comes to their self-worth they a lot the more positive taurus is more they can do things on their own when it comes to just making them feel make making them feel complete whether it's through being you know because taurus is also artistic taurus is also um into the throat it's the throat um tauruses can be singers they can be musicians they can be artists they can do that you know they can be you know into cooking into food um they like soft stuff they like you know they don't have to have a lot of money but they like the feel of feeling rich maybe spiritually you know um the tauruses are also very spiritual too you know like a lot of people don't talk about that but like we're very in tune with the earth like a lot of us are and we can just feel you know mother earth speaking to us because that's our element um you know the element earth is a very spiritual element and that's something that a lot of people don't talk about when it comes to expressing the astrological signs when it comes to the elements because if you look at wicca for example wicca honors the earth that is the element that they really honor the most i mean i'm pretty sure they see all the elements as equal but that is their that is their number one like element is the earth because you know why earth is also magic and earth is not always just about money 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 and getting a nice car and getting all the material things yes that is true because the earth is material as well but the earth is also spiritual and that is something that i think all the earth signs have within themselves the ones who are even the ones who are more materialistic they have something inside of them that they haven't unlocked yet and once they see how much they're connected to their element which is the earth then um they can really entune themselves by just, you know, really uh, um, maybe going to the beach and having their feet on the, in the sand or going hiking to a mountain or just looking at the stars in the night sky and seeing how much the earth, Mother Earth, the universe has a consciousness and does speak to us. But, you know, earth science, especially Taurus, um, they really understand that earthiness and to really be in tune with the earthiness of their, of that side of themselves. Um, really understanding how it feels, how therapeutic, um, uh, just being around a garden or even gardening, you know, instead of always, you know, feeling like you have all the answers to everything and always complaining to somebody who's never going to give you the right answer. You can just go and get your hands dirty when you go gardening and go and, um, you know, play with your plants and speak to your plants and see how much they grow. Um, that is like the earthiness. That is the earthiness of Taurus. Um, maybe they were like that, especially when they were children. So, but not all Tauruses are like that. That's more of the positive. That's more of the Taurus that is more like the hippie Taurus. There's other Tauruses who are just more about like the money, 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 you know, but you know, there's a combination of both. There's some who are a balance of both, you know, the earthy Taurus and then the materialistic Taurus that are about like Prada, Fendi, Louis Vuitton, and you know, just eating a lot. You know, perfect Taurus that is like that is um, Trisha Paytas. She's, if you want to see that kind of Taurus, she's very, that that is her, you know. She's that kind of Taurus. But she's still, like, there's something very down to earth about her. The more you grow with her, you kind of see that in her. And um, I haven't seen an earthy Taurus yet, but a earthy Taurus, I would say, is just someone... Who, they would probably be like a Wiccan or a Pantheist or someone 
who just loves going to the beach, going to, going to the forest. You know, that is more the tourist who's probably more vegan and more vegetarian. And, you know, there's two different types, you know. And I should talk about that in astrology. But, yeah, um, yeah, Tauruses are also, what else do I like about them? Um, yeah, they're the type, to, they're like, you know, if you're on their good side, um, they're the ride or die type, you know, but at the same time, you have to remember, like, they don't just love everybody, they can be with you, but that, that, doesn't, that doesn't mean that they have to love you, you know, like, they don't just go around giving their love away, and uh, if you, if they're really possessive and jealous over you, it's not always because they're insecure, it's just because they probably never have loved someone like that before, and so it's just like they value you so much that they just want to keep you in their life and they respect the fact that you were willing to share that kind of love with them and that makes Taurus crazy sometimes but if you if a Taurus is with somebody and they don't feel that way with somebody then that that means they don't really love them they just want to have a little fun you know because Taurus are still kind of like they they can do traditional, but they can also do casual in relationships. And, uh, you know, and those are how some of the men are, too. Because Chris Brown, you know, he's kind of, like, known to be, like, that playboy type, you know. You know, Chris Brown is a Taurus. Um, I, I, you know, Megan Fox is a Taurus. Uh, who else is a Taurus? I know there's more. But yeah, you know, like a lot of them are known to, you know, be very good looking because they are ruled by Venus. You know, they have that sexiness about them, like that sensuality, because their opposite sign is a uh, Scorpio. And Scorpio and Taurus are both known as the sexual, sexy signs. Those, because they are, they are the mirror signs of each other. They carry the same element. They carry the same, not the same element. They carry the similar energy, but in a different element. They're both fixed, feminine, introverted signs. But one is water and one is earth. And they just um, express it in a different element. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that is Taurus. And thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, share, and comment. All right.